Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a science fiction fantasy thriller film, Paradise Hills. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. At her grand wedding, the gorgeous bride, Uma, dedicates a song to her bridegroom. Following her song, guests begin to dance. As the bridegroom walks into the room, he sees his beautiful wife waiting for him in bed. Uma looks much more obedient and adorable than before. The scene then switches to two months earlier, when Uma woke up in a beautifully decorated room. With the sound of the broadcast, two waiters in white walked in to deliver her breakfast. But Uma took the opportunity to run away. Her flight was stopped by a cliff, where she realized this place was an isolated island. In panic, she fled into a hidden cave. Over there, she met a pretty girl dressed in white. Uma pleaded for her help. The girl agreed to offer her assistance. But in the end, she led Uma back to the two waiters. On the way back, Uma saw many pretty young ladies in white. Next, Uma was brought to the Duchess, the owner of Paradise Hills. The Duchess explained that Paradise Hills was an idyllic reform school for rebellious young ladies. They would undergo reformation here and change into perfect women, aligned with the standards of the noble class. Uma was sent here as she rejected a marriage proposal that her mother wanted her to accept. Later, Uma was ushered into a pink and exquisite dormitory. She befriended her two roommates, a greasy girl nicknamed Greasy and a deviant girl called Deviant. Apparently, Greasy joined Paradise to lose her weight, while Deviant, whose family was humble, was expected to enter the upper class through this program. The three attended the dinner together. Greasy told Uma the lady she met in the cave earlier was Amarna, a well-known singer. It turns out, Amarna had her own idea for making music, which violated the interests of her management team. So the team sent her to the island for transformation. Later, Uma met Amarna in the washroom. Amarna explained that she handed Uma to the captors because she did not want to expose the hidden cave, her secret smoking corner. As Amarna learned that Uma wanted to escape, she decided to help her. They promised to meet midnight. However, Uma slept through the night. When she got up, it was already daylight. Weird enough, Amarna did not wake up either. So both of them missed the appointment. Later, a series of activities were lined up for the girls. Uma started her day with personal grooming and mirror therapy. Seeing herself in the mirror, Uma felt weird and left. Soon after that, Uma was led by the waiters to an odd room. They tied her up to ride a carousel-style horse for a conditioning exercise. It was a few hours of hologram screening about her fiancé. Irritated by such treatment, Uma confronted the Duchess. She made it clear that such treatment could not change her behavior. She also shared with the Duchess why she behaved rebellious. It was all because Uma fell in love with a man of the lower class. However, as her family was bankrupt, she had to marry a rich man from the upper class in order to maintain her family's decent living standards. Upon hearing that, the Duchess did not punish Uma at all. Instead, she listened to her patiently and gave her advice from time to time. Uma felt her care and concern. As such, Uma adjusted to life on the island and gradually opened up more to mirror therapy. To Uma's surprise, her lover also came to the island. In order to be with Uma, he worked as a florist at Paradise Dills. He promised to bring Uma out from this place. The jealous Amarna witnessed their love scene and left in sobbing silence. That night, Uma shared with her friends the good news about her lover. While other girls were happy for Uma, Amarna, however, felt that Uma's lover was not a good match for Uma. But then, Amarna was invited for a performance. Uma seemed to feel the love through her soft and tender singing. The next day, Uma woke up, only to find that the necklace with memories of her father was gone. At the same time, an alarm went off, notifying the stranger's intrusion. The daily routine in Paradise Hills was disrupted because of that. This stirred up great curiosity among the ladies, but such inappropriate behaviors of the girls drove the Duchess mad. Deviant wanted to defend Uma, but the Duchess threatened her in anger, causing the glass behind Deviant to be shattered right away. Amarna stood up for Deviant, and the Duchess finally came back to her senses. On the other hand, the intruders were captured. It turned out they were Amarna's fans who smuggled a robo for her. Amarna revealed that the girls were drugged, that's why they slept through the night. But last night, she stayed awake as she skipped the milk. She saw staff moving girls in a deep sleep around. She also picked up Uma's necklace on the stage. Amarna planned to escape from the island with Uma, but Uma did not want to leave her lover behind. Despite Amarna's warning, Uma told her lover everything. At dinner time, it was announced that Amarna's had finished the treatment. She would leave the island soon. Amarna was very confused about what was happening. Uma went to the washroom and spilled out the milk. Amarna also came to bid her farewell. She asked Uma to run away with her lover using the rowboat. 
Amarna gave a passionate tongue massage and hug to her sweetheart Uma. After that, since Uma did not consume any drug, she was awake all along, only to witness Amarna being pushed out by the staff members. Uma wanted to investigate the situation, but she deterred it due to the surveillance camera. On the next day, Uma saw a hologram of her childhood times and an old news report about her father's suicide. She realized the culprit behind all her father's death was actually her fiancé. Uma could not accept the fact that she would marry her enemy. She reacted badly and was drugged and sent to a confinement room for punishment. When Uma woke up again, she was brought to meet the Duchess. Duchess showed her Amarna on the television show. Uma was shocked to see that Amarna totally changed from her head to legs, ass to toes. More shocking was that for the past two weeks, Uma had been unconscious. The Duchess informed Uma that her treatment was done and she could depart from the island the next day. However, Uma no longer trusted the Duchess. She told her roommates everything she knew and convinced them to run away. According to the plan, the three girls stopped to take any milk which contained the drug. At night, the staff members pushed out Deviant. Uma and Greasy followed them. Apparently, the staff members were prepared to operate on Deviant. Uma and Greasy fought hard against them and knocked them out. Deviant was badly injured. Uma and Greasy brought her to another experiment lab where they found the records of their private information and even Uma's hormone let go scene with her lover. Uma came to realize her lover was actually an undercover working for the Duchess. As Uma and her friends ran from the guards, they stumbled into the basement and met a group of bandaged girls. But the bandaged girls did not care about their cry for help. In their confusion, one of the girls removed her bandage and showed her the same face as Deviant. To their shock, she was actually the replica of Deviant. It's then revealed that the center was not used to rehabilitate them, but to replicate them. Women from poor social circumstances were sent to undergo extensive surgeries and training in order to make them behave as obedient as the women they would replace. Unfortunately, Deviant died of her injury. Uma shared with her replacement that her fiancé was responsible for her father's death. She also gave her the memory locket. Uma and Greasy had to move on without Deviant. When they were passing through a garden of vines, Greasy disappeared suddenly. Uma searched for Greasy and found lifeless bodies of former Paradise Girls and snarled in the leaves, including Amarna. Uma then heard Greasy's cry. She quickly located Greasy's body wrapped up in vines, and the Duchess was feeding on Greasy's body fat. It turns out, the Duchess was not a human being. She fed on the Paradise Girl's body to stay young. Despite Uma's struggles, she could not break away from the vines. At that critical moment, Uma's replacement appeared to distract the Duchess. Uma then took the chance to cut the vines with a scalpel and stabbed the Duchess to death. Following her death, the vines in the garden collapsed all of a sudden. Uma and her replica managed to escape in time. Just as they were about to take the rowboat, the lover who worked as a guard appeared before them. He confessed to Uma the reason why he became an undercover. It was because the Duchess told him that Uma had decided to marry the rich fiancé. In despair, he participated in the Duchess conspiracy. Although Uma did not buy what he said, he released them. Uma then learned that her replica accepted the Duchess offer. As she needed to earn a living for her younger brothers, Uma then came up with a plan. Hence back to the present day, right on the wedding night, the bridegroom is invited to the bedroom early, while Uma seduces him and stabs him to death. Meanwhile, her replica remains downstairs in the wedding gown, playing as the bride, causing everybody to mistake her for Uma. In that way, Uma is free from blame due to the alibi and inherits all of her fiancé's estate. However, Uma gives all the riches to her replica and breaks away for freedom. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.